All right, welcome. We are heading through the Brookline neighborhood. Hope you enjoy the ride. I've got Sadie here doing the driving and I'm doing the filming. Enjoy the tour. I appreciate your time and interest in learning more about Brookline. If you haven't been on one of my driving tours before, it is a pretty simple process. I will give you as many details as I can about what it is like to live in Brookline, including some of the notable businesses, school information, and specifics about the real estate market here in Brookline. And while you're listening, you are riding shotgun with a view of the homes, streets, and businesses in the neighborhood. You will not see every single house and street in Brookline, but there should be plenty of audio and visual information to consider whether Brookline is the type of place you could see yourself living in. Compared to many other major U.S. cities, the geographic size of the city limits of Pittsburgh is relatively small. The population of the city of Pittsburgh is about 300,000 residents and covers a little less than 60 square miles. However, within this small area, there are 90 distinct neighborhoods within the city of Pittsburgh. Brookline is one of the largest neighborhoods with a population of over 13,000 residents. Only Squirrel Hill and Shadyside are larger than Brookline. Brookline is the gateway to the entire South Hills and begins as soon as you come out of the Liberty Tunnel. West Liberty Avenue makes up the western border of Brookline and Sawmill Run Boulevard, or 51, is the border on the eastern side. The two main roads in Brookline are Pioneer Avenue, which runs north to south from the Liberty Tunnel all the way to Dormont. When West Liberty has a lot of traffic, Pioneer Avenue is an easy detour. The other main road in Brookline is Brookline Boulevard, which runs from West Liberty Avenue to Sawmill Run. Brookline has a long and proud history, and I strongly suggest checking out the website brooklineconnection.com. It is linked in the description below. Throughout most of the 1800s, Brookline and the West Liberty area was farmland. One of the farmers started calling the area Brookline since it reminded him of the town of Brookline in Massachusetts. The name stuck and in 1908, Brookline was annexed by the city of Pittsburgh. With the addition of the trolley and the automobile, Brookline and the rest of the South Hills saw rapid development in the 20th century. Brookline reached its peak of nearly 30,000 residents in the 1970s and with the collapse of the steel industry, the decline set in for much of the region. But as you can see from this video, Brookline is once again a vibrant and flourishing community. The boulevard is the heart of the community and one of my favorite places to visit. The food offerings on the boulevard are hard to find anywhere else and include a street taco stand at the Mexican grocery store Las Palmas, the Mediterranean bakery Pita Land is famous for its pita breads, but also serves some of the best hummus, grape leaves, baklava, tabbouleh, and pretty much everything they serve is amazing. There are plenty of other phenomenal places to eat and drink on the boulevard, so check out the links in the description for a few more recommendations. Along the boulevard, you can take care of plenty of other errands, a post office, library, cleaners, barbers, banks, a liquor store, and so much more. Other amenities include two large parks, Moore Park and Brookline Memorial Park. Both have athletic fields, playgrounds, and serve as community hubs. Getting to downtown Pittsburgh using public transportation is pretty simple via the 39 bus route, or the light rail on the lower end of Brookline along Sawmill Run. Brookline is served by the Pittsburgh Public School System, which currently operates 54 schools with a total enrollment of around 23,000 students. But not all Brookline residents are assigned to the same feeder schools. Most residents of the streets on and around Pioneer Avenue are assigned to West Liberty for K-5, South Brook for grades 6 to 8, and Carrick for high school. Most of the remaining students in Brookline would attend Brookline K-8 on Woodburn and Brashear for high school. In addition to the neighborhood schools, the Pittsburgh Public Schools also operates 16 magnet schools with a variety of academic themes and programs. For more information about the district and individual school performance data, be sure to check out the link in the description 
for A plus schools Pittsburgh. So now that you are more familiar with Brookline, perhaps you are thinking it could be a great place to live. So what does the housing market look like in 2021? About 70% of the residents own their home and the remaining 30% rent. The median rent in Brookline is about $1,000 per month. Like most areas in Pittsburgh and around the country, the number of homes currently for sale in Brookline is quite low and the competition between buyers is intense. In the last three months, there were 70 homes that sold in Brookline and more than half of them sold over asking price and most sold within the first few days on the market. But despite the climbing prices, the median sales price in the last three months was $190,000. You'll not find too many neighborhoods anywhere in the country with the type of amenities and quality homes you'll find in Brookline for a median price under $200,000. Brookline is an attractive place to live for people of all ages. The residents are friendly and there to lend a helping hand when you need it. You will love the experience of walking up and down the boulevard and bump into neighbors and visitors out enjoying their day. Check out the link in the description for a link that always refreshes with current homes for sale in Brookline and then give me a call to help you make the next move. Hope you enjoyed our neighborhood tour driving through Brookline. I've got plenty of other driving tours where Sadie's doing all the driving and check them out. They're right here in this link. Take care. Have a great day.